right, that is a huge intro. I was just going to let it run for a bit, but man, was that ever long. All right, everybody, my name is Lloyd Hennison from the Nerd Nest, here with another first look. Today, we're taking a look at ActRaiser Renaissance on Nintendo Switch. This game just dropped today. It was part of the Nintendo Direct, and this was a stealth drop. If you're not familiar with ActRaiser, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, Super Nintendo games. I love ActRaiser. I've played it. I've finished it. I can't even count the number of times that I've played and beat this game. One of my favorite games on the system and one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's it's right up there, probably in my top 10. So when I found out that not only did this game exist, but it came out today and there was no leaks, no nothing, a um, little bit blown away. So ActRaiser is a 2D side-scroller and it is a uh, world-building game. So it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up crossed with SimCity. Uh, so you're doing little little bits on the overworld, you go down to the world, you attack things, kill enemies, uh, do all that fun stuff, and uh, it's just a heck of a lot of fun. So I can't wait to jump into this one. Let's, uh, let's do this. This is a first look. If you're not familiar with my first looks, we do uh, 15, 20, 30 minutes. We kind of see where the game takes us as we are checking out ActRaiser. All right, let's click new game and uh, kind of see where the game goes. Um, the really interesting is um, interesting thing is that uh, the original composer actually was here making new songs for this game. So uh, new games or sorry, new songs using the Super Nintendo sound chip and also new songs that are fully orchestrated. Um, just insane to hear that. It's uh, pretty awesome. Oh, no, I just did that. Back, back, cancel, X. No, no, back. <laughs> I, have to, I have to watch my screen before. Okay, so let's hit A to confirm. You are the Lord of Light, Master Dazmi. Proceed. Yes, let's jump in. All right, so difficulty, hard, easy, normal. Let's do easy for this one. Just because, you know, I don't want to die when I'm doing a first look. All right, I'm going to turn my camera off while we go through this. Angel says, I see you've awoken from your slumber, Master Dazmi. Though your divine splendor has waned, this angel is ever your humble servant. Alas, in your absence, fell monsters have ravaged the land, scattering your people and befouling the earth. This is doubtless the work of Tanzra, the evil one. To redress the balance, you must reclaim your power, Master Dazmi. Through your deeds, you must rekindle the people's faith in you. You must restore them to their stolen land by your grace. They might live and prosper. As the people thrive and multiply, they will surely sing your praises and grow more fervent in their devotions. Thus will your influence grow. So Angel kind of just laid out how the entire game works. <laughs> when you're in the overworld, you, you have to make your uh, your people pay uh, pray, and then they give you energy uh, that you can then use to do other things which is fun. Uh, Angel, alas, Master Dazmi, the world at its present is firmly in the grip of the Dark Lord Tanzra. His minions roam unchecked, sowing chaos and terror among the people, preventing them from establishing any settlement of considerable size. This verdant land of Fillmore was once home to a prosperous civilization. Let us begin here. Strike a blow against Tanzra's minions uh, that the people may establish a permanent foothold in the region. All right, so um, let's see. We're, we're doing Fillmore, right? So let's uh, hit A to descend. If you can beat back the monstrous horde, then your people establish a foothold in this region and begin to rebuild their lives. Shall we begin, Master Tasby? All right, so descend guide. Descend to guide the people of Fillmore. Challenge Act 2 of Fillmore. Challenge Act 1 of Fillmore. Let's do Act 1. On the Super Nintendo, this would be doing amazing Mode 7 rotation effects. <laughs> this is a little bit different, but uh, kind of the same. Kind of the same. Oh, man. I, I just... I I can't believe this game exists. I, I've i wanted to play a remake of this or a sequel or something. Um, but to have this kind of 3D, 2D, 3D remake... Um, yeah, I can't wait. So you can see, this is obviously the side-scrolling portion. Oh, wow. Let's just inspect. Press attack to deliver a blow with your sword. By pressing attack repeatedly, you can deliver up to three attacks in succession. 
you move or hold the left button or right button when delivering the third in a string of attacks, you'll execute a charging thrust attack, during which you'll be briefly invulnerable. Oh yeah. Okay. I learned something new. Oh, jeez. Seriously, bird? Yeah, I can break that too. This is interesting. Um, it's like there's like hand-drawn sprites almost, but way, way up from the original, of course, because this isn't running on the Super Nintendo. Uh, press jump to launch yourself in the air. While in the air, you can press attack to deliver an aerial strike. Yep. That works. Thank you, tutorial thing. Whatever that those things are. Obelisks. Oh, jeez. I killed him, but he hit me first. Boo. I'm terrible at hitting those birds. I know that's going to bite me in the butt at some point. I'm going to have no more HP by the time I get to the boss battle. Ooh, an apple. Give me some health back. Thank you. Okay, so I can't double jump. Hmm, I can't get up there yet. Interesting. I guess I have to come back down that way to get that statue. Um, it's been a while since I've played the original. Taking damage from enemies and other hazards will reduce your HP. If your HP falls to zero, you will die and lose a life and be forced to restart from the last checkpoint. Losing lives will result in a game over? Yeah, of course. Easy, infinite, normal five, hard three. Okay, so that's the difference between the difficulties, really. Is the amount of lives that you get. Um, <clears throat> so, for people wondering, uh, this game's on Nintendo Switch. I'm playing it on Nintendo Switch uh, because, well... ActRaiser, to me, is a Nintendo game, so it just makes sense that I'm playing on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, but this is available on other platforms as well. I believe it's on PS5. Uh, I'd be surprised if it wasn't on Xbox as well, but I'm not positive on that point. Um, so yeah, uh, but it is kind of a kind of a mid-tier kind of upgrade, so it's not like a uh, crazy new 3D engine, but they are 3D objects that are uh, put back into this game. So... It, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, one of those half remakes where it's not like HD, 4K, uh, 60 frames a second, but it's using a newer engine, but still using kind of like the old like level um, level layouts and things like that. So this would be interesting to play through. It reminds me a lot of um, uh, some of the like Castlevania games in how they look, the newer ones um, that are available. Okay, press up button and attack simultaneously to leap into the air and deliver a rising strike. This technique is effective against enemies flying and on higher ground. While in the air, press down and attack to deliver an overhead slam. Oh, okay. So you can go up and then down. Nice. Let's do that. Up, down. Up, down. Okay, I can't hit him. Whoa, jeez. Settle down there, buddy. Why does he breathe fire for a tree? That seems a little dangerous to me. All right, that guy's defeated. It opened a gate. Let's go. So far, this is playing exactly like the original. Right, here, let's go into game settings. Oops, wrong button. All right, game settings. Background music. Uh, do you want the Renaissance or the classic? Nice. So you can see, same song. One is just done on the Super Nintendo uh, sound chip, and the other one is totally rearranged with multiple instruments. Let's play the with the original music. <clears throat> For classic. Classic's sake. Which really isn't a thing. I don't know why I said that. All right, statues of the Lord of the Light serve as checkpoints. When entering an area with one of these statues, your progress will be saved. On death, you'll be resurrected the most recently passed statue, should you have sufficient, sufficient lives. As your progress is automatically saved, should you suspend the game, you'll be able to resume play from this checkpoint as well. All right, checkpoint and leveling up. Thank you very much. All right, let's get to the first boss battle, and we'll show a little bit of the world building. Uh, and I think that will be 
it for this first look. Man, this game is brings back so many memories, even though it looks different. Oh, I've played this game so often over the years. Surprised I haven't worn off my uh, or worn out my cartridge. <laughs> All right, let's go down this tree thing. Go up here. We'll get that little statue. Get our HP. Oh, there's another one down there too. Let's see what this one is. Oh, MP. Okay, press the down button to crouch and avoid certain attacks. Uh, moreover, if you are struck by an enemy attack from the front while crouching, you'll automatically adopt a defensive stance, thereby reducing damage taken. Oh, that's handy. Back step is quickly to gain distance from an aggressive enemy. Press evade to execute a back, back step. You're briefly invulnerable while back... Well, what's evade? Ah, uh, there it is. Okay, so it's L, L bumper is evade. Oh, look at those, like light effects. That's really cool. Good job, Square Enix. Okay, well, I can't do anything there. So let's keep going. Let's keep soldiering on to the right. I can't remember if there's ever anything in the rocks. Man, I should have played the original before playing this one just so I didn't forget about anything. die. Ah! <laughs> I don't know how I made that one. Probably because I'm playing on easy. Also because it's the uh, first level, so it's really not that difficult. Jeez. Louise. Okay. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. No, not there. Oh, I can jump on his head. I thought I could only do his hand. Oh, jeez, really? <laughs> I'm just taking all the damage here. Not being too smart. Okay, let's keep going. I love the little uh, light effects that you have. You really kind of look like a god. <clears throat> you have superpowers. All right, checkpoint. Okay, I think this is the boss. So yeah, there's always a boss, and that ends this kind of side-scrolling section. Watch me die. Wizard Knight to the Violet Veil. Centaurus! Oh, I thought it went over me. Nope! Let's try Centaurus. Oh, jeez. You gonna stop? Oh, so close. Next hit. There we go. Yeah. All right, first boss defeated. So yeah, so um, this kind of retro um, soundtrack, there's a bunch of new songs that were never on the Super Nintendo, so it's going to be really interesting kind of making my way through this game and listening to new music, because the soundtrack for ActRaiser is ridiculous. One of one of the better soundtracks on the Super Nintendo, um, along with, like, I don't know, Chrono Trigger, some of the Final Fantasies. <laughs> there's a lot of games, especially RPGs, that have really good um, theme songs. And full soundtracks, not just the theme songs. All right. Rejoice, Master Desmi, for Fillmore may now serve as a home for your wayward people. Yet vigilant we must also remain, for they are weak and fragile creatures. Let us continue to safeguard them from Tanzra's minions and ensure that this new settlement grows and thrives. All right, so now they're gonna teach us how to use the world building mode. Oh Lord, we are grateful beyond measure for this bountiful land of Fillmore you have gifted us. We are eager to build and expand, but are unsure how to best proceed. And so we beseech you, O oh Lord, to guide us. 
and I hit the button and I skip through un accidentally. Oh well. Uh, Angel, your people wish to know how you'd like them to develop their fledgling settlement. Such is to be expected. They are your children and they want for your wisdom. Surely you will answer their prayers. All right. Very good, Master Dasmi. Your children ever want for your guidance. Guiding your people. By specifying the manner in which the road should be built, you can direct the development of the settlement. Press offer guidance to or to continue. Uh, to move the angel to your intended, intended destination, up to eight tiles may be designated at a single time. However, bear in mind that the roads cannot be built across rocks, trees, or other obstacles. Wow, that's awkward sentences. Uh, once the angel is in a position, select confirm to finalize the route and issue guidance to the people. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Perhaps we should direct them to expand towards the north and west. Alright, so we're going to go over here. We'll go, I guess, here. This is where they want us to go. Uh, Tis done, Master Dasmi. The Filmorans will expand their settlement in accordance with your divine will. Alright, so here come the, uh, the people. They're building a road. Doing the roadie things, going back and forth, making stuff. All right, there we go. We built a road. Oh, Lord, we thank you for your loving guidance. We shall proceed at once to expand our settlement in the direction you have indicated. Such pit pitiable cre creatures, absent your instruction, they would be overwhelmed by indecision and be unable to determine the direction in which to expand. But look, Master Dasmi, having heard your holy word, they now leap into action and begin building new structures. Continue to direct them just so, and they will surely honor you with diligent labor. So, yeah, the game is very religious toned. <laughs> uh, that I guess because there's an angel is the character you're, you're controlling, right? Uh, Master Dasmi, that rather large hole in the earth cannot have escaped your notice. Tis a monster lair. From these burrows emerge winged fiends that delight in tormenting your children from the skies above. Fortunately, I am more than capable of dispatching them with my bow. You need only direct me to do so. Attacking monsters with the angel. Use the direction, directional buttons and press attack to make the angel fire an arrow in the direction he is currently facing. Press and hold attack to ready a charge attack, uh, which will fire three arrows. <clears throat> when angel is cast in, can, incapacitated, monsters can damage the angel. Be advised that when his HP reduces to zero, he'll be able to fight for a time. All right. So yeah, you're just basically attacking. Pretty easy. <laughs> oh Lord, this land you have granted us is filled with many trees and shrubs, which impede our settlement's expansion. Alas, we lack the means to extend our roads into such terrain. For since ancient times, that which takes root in this land has been warded against the hand of man. Thus, do they fear their tools will prove useless when brought to bear, or worse, that their actions may invite the land's reprisal? It would seem, Master Dasmi, that you, you, ch that your chosen cry out for a miracle. Why not, why not comfort them in their hour of need? The English is very awkward at sometimes. All right, wielding miracles. Through judicious application of your heavenly powers, you can facilitate development of your people's community. Press Wield Miracles to, to continue. Move the cursor of the miracle you wish to use and press Confirm to select it. Once you have moved the angel over the desired location, you may press Confirm to carry out your miracle. Using Next or Previous may adjust the level of your miracle prior to execution. Higher level miracles will affect a larger area, but will in turn consume a larger quantity of SP. To dispense with the greenery that bars the people's path, might I suggest you call lightning. Ah yes, that's just the thing to smite the shrubs and to awe your chosen, chosen faithful. Alright, so hit R bumper and choose lightning. And we want to do lightning here. And there we go, you can see my blue bar at the top SP has gone down from 20 to 10. Destroy trees with divine lightning. I mean, I did that already, right? Was I supposed to do more? Or maybe that was it? 
Thank you, O Lord. Full many of us bore witness to your divine intervention. Twas magnificent how your lightning smote the trees which hindered our development. We, now, we may now claim the land which was once closed to us. Praise be to you, O Lord, from whom all blessings flow. Well done. Should other such impediments require removal, I'm sure your miraculous lightning will more than suffice. Uh, and while you could bring such destructive power to bear against your people's homes as well, I have no doubt that you will not, for boundless is your love and grace. But you could. Master Jasmine, it seems uh, to me that your children are doing their very best to develop and expand their settlement. For now, I think it might be prudent to adopt a rather more passive approach. To wait and see, so to speak. Got some apples. So everybody's building. They're building a farm. They're building little living areas, little houses, and whatnot. Oh. Uh, we are plagued by many monsters still who creep into our settlement and attack our loved ones. But by your grace, we have made great strides and are claiming this land. Our families flourish and our dominion grows larger. You have done so much for us, and so, after much discussion, we have decided that rather than cower in our homes, we wish to go forth and confront the fiends ourselves. Uh, let us be your sword to vanquish the dark. You need but guide us to the devil's lair. Well, this is quite a surprise. I thought them rather more helpless, but they seem intent on dealing with the fiends themselves. I have my doubts that this display of heroism will end well, but who can say? Perhaps you should indulge them, guide them to the monster lair, and see what comes of it. All right. So I'm going to go back up to the top, and I'm going to tell them to attack that pit. Um, that the monsters in the lair to the northwest are lacking in strength. Might I suggest that you guide your people to this den of evil, uh, that they can assist in its destruction. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go back up here. First, I'm going to kill this guy, because why not? No, kill him, kill him, kill him. Jeez. All right. I'm going to tell my people to go here. See what they do. Did I not did I not do it right? Here, offer guidance. Move here. Confirm. Oh, I, I probably hit the wrong button. I'm so used to playing on Xbox these days. <laughs> My A and B buttons are swapped. Uh, within the monster lair, we found terrible relics, orbs which pulse with foul, malevolent, that's a hard word to read when you're so tired, uh, energies. All who have be uh, beheld them believe that they have some connection to the fiends. I know of what he speaks, Master Dasmi. They are spawners, devices which facilitate the appearance of Tanzra's minions. Without them, monsters would not issue forth from its lair. What are you waiting for? They must be destroyed. Forthwith. Um, the time has come for you to strike at the heart of the enemy lair. From the heavens now uh, descend into the hell pit in the northwest, I implore you. I uh, trust you're ready for battle. Press A to enter this monster lair. If so, once you have obliterated the spawner within, fiends will no longer emerge from the lair and it will be sealed. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to go into the monster's lair so you can kind of see how that works. But that's essentially how this game plays out. You're building building little pathways your little people are doing stuff uh, eventually they'll pray and they'll give you like your your kind of magic power um that you need to do various things as well okay that was a spawner i think oh that's that's a big spawner what the heck oof Well, this seems not so bad. Ooh, I took some damage there. Ah. There, I did my uppercut, and that, like, destroyed it. <laughs> All right, stage clear. <clears throat> Little 2D mini stage.
loading screen. The people rejoice, for the lair to the northwest has been forever sealed by your divine intervention. This miraculous display fills us with renewed hope and reminds us that you ever watch over that you ever watch over your children. We pray that you continue to guide us. Marvelous, uh, this one last lair to befoul the land, and I, who must purge the errant fiends whensoever they appear, may labor somewhat less tiredly than before. <sighs> All right. Ooh, what's this? Some more SP. Okay, I'm gonna offer guidance. I want my people to go here. And I want them to go over here. One, two, three. I sense a fearsome magic emanating from this lair master, Gazmi. Unless your chosen lacks sufficient your chosen lacks sufficient strength in numbers to act against the fiends at this time. Okay, so we'll go here. We'll let them kind of do their own thing. I'm going to wield a miracle. Lightning, get rid of this. Ooh, do I have enough? Yeah, I can do it again. Get rid of this. Might as well, since my SP keeps filling over time, I might as well spend it when I have it. Alright, the other day we chanced to find a stranger lying unconscious near the ruin of the monster lair you sealed. We nursed him back to health, and when he awoke, he named himself a Philotus, and then he proceeded to share with us a tale most strange. He claims he ruled these lands centuries ago, until by magic dark, <laughs> he was cursed to sleep for eternity. So this is where you pray, uh, so this is where you pray to your vaulted Lord of Light. Tis an impressive temple indeed. Uh, yet wasteful for prayers will avail you not. Uh, look not to the gods, for only men can save themselves in the end. Who does he think he is to speak such, such blasphemy in the presence of Master Dasby? I shall manifest and reprimand him at once. Mortal, you would do well to mind your tongue in this holy place. I say, where did this child come from? I'm no child, you impotent fool. I'm an angel and the right hand of Master Dasby, the Lord of Light, who, am I sh who I am sure is looking very cross at you right now. An angel, really? Then the gods truly exist. Well, I'll be. Uh, forgive me. My early comment, uh, commentary. I'm a stranger to the Filmorians, yet they came to my aid without hesitation. Such kindness must be repaid. You would agree, as you can doubtless see. I'm a man. I am a man of action. If you fiends in need of thrashing, I'm more. I'd be more than happy to oblige. I can't read tonight. Uh, though lacking in manners, he does not want for confidence. If he's willing to fight our foes, then you may as well take him up on his offer. Uh, if I may, uh, why not leave these people to their own devices as they labor and improve their settlements? Okay, so we'll let them, let them build. And they're going to build a bunch of stuff. Alright, let's put the new music on again. Uh, game settings. Renaissance. Oh, that sounds so good. All right. Um, let's see. Can I offer guidance now? Can we go here because we have that dude? No, can't. Okay. Yeah. Skip. You can hit plus to skip, by the way. All right. Let's uh, destroy that guy. We'll destroy that guy. And we're going to move down. I can't. Let's uh, wield a miracle. Ah, oh, okay. So I'm going to tell them to come down here. I'm going to have to break that as well. Because I want to build all the way down and destroy that monster lair. Alright, we're sitting at about 30 minutes. Um, I think this might be a good place to stop. We haven't gotten to any sort of like the, the prayer magic stuff. Um, that comes later in the game. But that, this is essentially what um, Actraiser is all about. You are building stuff. You are fighting stuff. Uh, you you alternate back and forth between the side-scrolling beat-em-up and the top-down city-building type thing, or, or I guess world-building, village-building, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and you're constantly going back and forth. Um, as you play through, you, you, you learn new skills and upgrades and, and whatnot. 
um, just like any other RPG. Um, love this game to death. I'm so happy that it is on uh, the Nintendo Switch. I cannot wait to get into some of the new content that is included here as well. All right, I'm just going to skip all this for right now uh, because... Oh, okay. Fort Innovation Gatehouses, a tome detailing the process of gatehouse construction. Uh, blockhouses, a tome detailing the process of blockhouse construction. Okay, I learned how to construct more things. Uh, am I given to understand that forts are structures which serve to protect the settlement from monsters? However, in order to build forts, you will first need to amass sufficient materials, which are in turn produced by workshops. Fortunately, your children are now aware of the necessity and will construct workshops on their own as the settlement grows and expands, though they will, of course, benefit from your guidance in this. Oh, and any materials produced in the workshops, I should be happy to gather for you. All right, so these guys are going to continue to build and do all sorts of buildy type things. Um, do I have enough magic? Yeah, I do. Let's uh, blow this one up. Boom. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to about do it for me for this first look of ActRaiser Renaissance. What an amazing game. If you haven't played the original, uh, this is probably going to be the best way to play it. Uh, it, it runs amazing. Uh, it looks great on Nintendo Switch. Uh, if you don't have access to the Super Nintendo version, finding one of those cartridges right now can be very, very expensive. So this is definitely the, the cheaper way to pick up and play this game. Plus, it looks pretty fantastic as well. So anyway, that's going to about do it for me. Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. You can check out all the stuff we do over at nerdnest.tv. I also host uh, Nintendo Pulse, which is the longest running Nintendo podcast. You can just go into your podcatcher, do a search for Nintendo Pulse, or you can head over to the audio podcast website I run at rez.tv, R-E-Z-D.tv. Check out our stuff there. Um, there's just a, a large number of episodes going all the way back to 2006. Uh, from the Nintendo DS, the Wii, all the way up to the Nintendo Switch. So you can check that stuff out as well. So anyway, that's going to do it for me, Lloyd Hannison from the Nerd Nest. You take it easy, and we'll talk to you here next time on Nerd Nest. Later, folks. <laughs>